it's Sabina. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you some Christmas gift ideas, and I tried to incorporate some more sustainable gift ideas in this Christmas gift guide. So hopefully you'll find it useful. The first section I have I called food. And I feel like food is a good gift to give someone because they can eat it and then it's like gone <laughs> and they don't have to like hold on to it and I feel like that's just always a good gift to give someone. Some ideas I listed, Hue Kitchen chocolate bars. These are so good. I love the almond butter, the hazelnut butter, the mint. And also another idea is their chocolate covered almonds. They are delicious. Let me tell you, those are the best chocolate covered almonds I've ever had. <laughs> Another idea for food is some food from local businesses, like a bakery or maybe someone nearby sells something. And I feel like that would be a really cute gift and you're supporting a local small business. You could also bake something yourself and put it in a reusable jar. They know that you made it yourself and then a reusable jar is something that they can use again. They don't have to throw it away. You could also get them coffee beans or throw them the coffee or tea or matcha or some kind of drink that they like. And if you don't wanna get them a food item, you could also get them gift certificates to restaurants that they like or restaurants you want them to try that you really like. The next section I have is called plants. And uh, basically it's just plants. <laughs> I saw this thing in Whole Foods where it was grow your own mint plant and it was like in this really cute container to grow it in and it was called a modern sprout and I'm sure they have different plants and not just mint. <laughs> you could also get them an indoor or house plant like an aloe plant or an orchid or something like that that they can add to their home. And speaking of home, the next section I have is home. <laughs> handmade mugs. I've seen a lot of these on Instagram and Etsy and I think they're just so adorable and they're handmade and I know Lolita by Lolita is a Instagram brand. Or she also has her own website too. Her item, she doesn't just have mugs, she has a bunch of other stuff so I feel like any of that would be so cute to get someone. But anything from a small business I feel like would be sustainable and I know her packaging is sustainable. A sunset lamp I know is all over TikTok right now. Everyone loves the sunset lamps but I think sunset lamp, a, um, what are those called? salt lamps, a salt lamp, or mood lighting would be great. I know I love mood lighting and everything and like cozy vibes, so I feel like that's great for someone to have in their room or maybe their dorm room or something. A, another idea is like glass straws, and I know um, I have metal straws and I think that would be a good gift too, but I feel like the glass ones are really cool because like they're see-through and I feel like that would be a great idea. Also, Stasher, these are instead of Ziploc baggies, they're reusable. You can put makeup in them to like travel and stuff, so it's a good travel bag for that. But also you can use them to store food and stuff. So I think that's a good idea for the house. Soy candle, I actually have one burning back there. Um, I read somewhere that soy candles are better, but not sure where I read that or why they are. I'll Google it. I'll put it here. <laughs> but I feel like if you're gonna get them a candle, get them something very not too strong, maybe something like uh, more subtle and maybe like a vanilla, a nice vanilla or something. Maybe a book that they're, they want to read or maybe something from their favorite author, an author that they like. Next section is accessories. You could get them a phone case. I found this brand, Pella, Pella phone case. It's supposed to be a sustainable brand. You could get them a tote bag. I think tote bags are a really great idea. I personally love tote bags and I feel like a lot of people love tote bags. Um, I love this one from Jerf Avenue, which is a sustainable brand. Jewelry, Majuri is a really good jewelry brand. Or you could get jewelry from a local small business, from one of like the shops nearby. I feel like that would be a nice idea to support a small business. The next section is beauty. I recently found out about this brand called Summer Fridays, which is a sustainable beauty line. They have skincare and creams and stuff, and they also have gift sets, so I think something from there would be really nice. 
Um, also, Merit is a beauty brand. They have makeup, and I feel like their cheek color looks really pretty, and their lip oil. Those are more personal, I feel like. You would get them a metal razor. I know that razors a, are a really big problem when it comes to throwing them away, and they definitely aren't sustainable, so I feel like a metal razor would be really nice because it's not disposable or anything. Also, deodorants or lip balms or lotions. Those would all be good gifts. But once again, with like the lotions, not like a super strong scent. Maybe go for unscented or something very subtle. I personally love things that you put in your hair after and you twist them and they're like a towel, but they keep your hair dry and they... I found a sustainable one. I'm not sure how sustainable it is, but it says that they're chemical-free, fully biodegradable. Packaging functions as a reusable waterproof pouch. I personally love these. They're microfiber makeup remover pads. Basically, you just wet them and then you, then you take off your makeup with them and then you can throw them in the wash. And they're instead of makeup wipes. Really helpful and I feel like anyone who wears makeup would love that. Bass bamboo brush. I have one of these. They're so nice. Um, I was like really skeptical at first because the bristles, uh, they're not those plastic kind and I thought that maybe it wouldn't detangle my hair properly because my hair is kind of thick and long but I ended up loving it and I feel like that would be a really good gift for someone and they're sustainable too. On to clothes. So I feel like clothes could be super tricky because you never know like their style or anything unless someone asks for something very specific but some brands you could get people gift cards to are Pact, Organic Basics, Nuin, Jerf Avenue, La Capsule, those are all sustainable clothing brands. Pact is a good store for basics. They have women, men, baby, kids, bed, and even bath products. Or Organic Basics is your go-to place for sustainable basics. Nuin has a bunch of fun and trendy pieces. I feel like it's harder to find trendier pieces when it comes to sustainable fashion and Nguyen is a great place for that. Turf Avenue is also sustainable. They have basics, but they also have going out outfits and just staple pieces for the wardrobe. The capsule also has great basics, but they also have some dressier pieces. And also there's this website called Good On You where you can, you can look up a brand, a clothing brand. Usually it's like bigger, more well-known brands and you can see their sustainability rating where they rate them on their impact on the people, planet, and environment. And I feel like that's really good and really interesting to know when you're shopping. The next section I have is workout stuff. The first thing I have is this company called Girlfriend. They have sustainable workout to wear and other clothes. And they also have a sustainability report for their items where it shows the CO2 emissions, which I feel like is really interesting to know when you're purchasing. And it also shows the water bottles prevented from landfills and energy saved when buying from them opposed to a fast fashion brand. You could also get someone a sustainable yoga mat. Um, I'm in need for a yoga mat, so I've been looking for something more sustainable, so that's a good idea. Maybe weights or a foam roller. I feel like foam rollers, I've been wanting a foam roller. I hear like it's really good for your muscles and recovery, so that's an option. And then, of course, a water bottle. I carry my water bottle around with me everywhere, like it's annoying to the others in my household. <laughs> My parents say it sounds like a cowbell when it hits against my charger or something. So I feel like a water bottle is a good idea to give someone. The next section I have is activities. So I feel like instead of getting someone something tangible, you could get them an activity to do, which I feel like is a really cool idea and I feel like people should do more often. You could get them tickets to an event that they want to see, like concert tickets, musical theater tickets, show tickets, uh, art gallery tickets or anything you think they would like and enjoy it together or you could get them two tickets for someone else that them and their loved one or something and if you know if they've been wanting to maybe try a new activity and get them classes to an art class um you could get them like painting drawing pottery ceramics maybe even a jewelry class if you think they'd like that or if that's something they've been wanting to do and if you need to get something for your group of friends i feel like it would be a great idea to do one of those painting with a twist classes and that could be your present to all your friends. Instead of buying them each an indi individual present, you could just get a class for everyone. Airbnb trip, like it doesn't have to be far. Get an Airbnb for your friends or something and have like a nice little getaway. 
If you know someone is into a workout, you could get them a workout class or if they've been wanting to try a new class, you could get them a class of Pilates, reformer Pilates, boxing, um, a yoga class. The last section I have is called dog but it could be for pets too, I'm pretty sure. So I just found these sustainable pet companies online. First one is called Westpaw, and it says on their website that they have sustainable dog toys and products to decrease your environmental paw print, which is so cute. But the toys are made with recycled ocean-bound plastic, and they are BPA free, and you can even send in your old dog toys, and they'll recycle them and make new dog toys out of them. The other company I found online is called Honest Pet, where they have biodegradable dog and cat toys. And I guess this brings me to the end of this video. I hope you found this useful, and if not, I hope you found it entertaining. <laughs> Anyway, give this video a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and happy holidays!